Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to make a kite out of things that you probably have lying around your house. It's spring, so it's like one day we have a really nice calm day and then the next day it is chilly and super super windy. So this is the perfect time to be outside flying kites. Um, so all you need is a plastic bag, a toilet paper tube, it's empty, so I've got a little bit of toilet paper left, I'm just going to pick it off, some scissors, and some kind of string. I have yarn, but if you have a different kind of string, that's, that'll be just fine, okay? So for this, you want to find the handles of your plastic bag. And you're going to cut a kind of a long piece of string. I'm going to measure it so that it's like from one hand to my shoulder. Okay? One hand to my shoulder, and then I'm going to cut that. Find one of your handles. A knot. You want it to be a knot because if it's really windy and it's not knotted, the wind is just going to take the string right off the bag and your bag's going to disappear. So I tied mine a couple of times. So that's on one handle and use the other end of your string to tie onto your other handle. And again, I'm going to tie a pretty strong knot. Okay, so now it's like you have a handle for your handles. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to cut an even larger piece of string. Like this is the this is the part that is going to fly your kite so you can really you can pull it out as long as you want to. I'm not actually very good at flying kites. So I'm not going to cut my string very long. All right. Find one of your ends. Hold your your first string. I did two different colors so you could tell a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay? So put your handles so they're starting at the same place. And this is going to help you find the middle of your string. So you're going to hold it up. And see where that loop is right here? That's, that's the middle. That's where we're going to attach your other string to. So I'm going to put my new one into here. And guess what I'm going to tie? A knot again. Pretty knotted up. All right. Now you're going to find there it is, that last end. There it is. And this is where our toilet paper tube comes in handy. All right. I'm going to tie mine on. You don't have to tie yours on, but again, I'm not very good at flying kites, so I'm going to. And now, you're going to wrap it. So this extra string is for people who are really good at flying kites. When you get out into like a big open field or an empty park or something and you really get your kite up in the air, if you unroll it, your kite will go higher. So the longer your string, the higher in the sky your kite can go. Okay, But when you're not flying it, 
it's best to have it all the way wrapped up so your string doesn't get tangled and you don't lose parts of your kite. Okay? I tried this with my daughters and it kind of worked for them. Um, they they didn't quite understand it, but they're a lot younger than you guys, so I think you'd be able to figure it out a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna attach a video of them trying to fly it, and then if you can, if you make one of these kites, and you get your parents or grandma or somebody out there flying kites with you, have them take a video or take a picture so I can see it. Okay, have fun.